Okay guys, welcome back to another video. I know I haven't posted a video in like a month, but kind of running out of ideas to do. It's winter right now. There's snow on the ground as you can see. But there's not much around here to do in the winter. But I have found something we can do today. So today we're going to be setting a whole bunch of mouse traps. We got like 20 mouse traps in here, a whole bucket full. So in the winter time, all the mice that live out in the fields in the summer and fall, they like to go in our greenhouses and in the barns and live in here. So we got to get these things out. They're digging up a bunch of holes in the insulation. I'll go and show you some of that in the in this greenhouse. So mostly, we're going to be setting in the greenhouses, mainly this one, but I'll show you why here in a little bit. So yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and go in there. Yeah, it's really warm in here, so the mice like to live in here. And you can see all this insulation up in here. There's, I think these are mice burrows going in it. And they just started collapsing this some more. And they just like to run along all this stuff. And along this, we have our, we grow tomatoes in here in the summer. So, and they always like to burrow up under this, um, foam. So I'm only going to show me setting one or two traps. And because it's pretty basic. I mean, we're just setting a mouse trap. You'll just see the rest of the traps probably when we catch the mice. So let's go ahead and set this trap here. This is just along the greenhouse wall inside. Bait using peanut butter. Let's put it on the pan. And that should be good. Zoom you guys in a little bit. There we go. There we go. And we'll just put it right there along the wall, and that should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of these, and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow when we are checking the traps. So it's the next day, I'm checking the traps, and um, the first greenhouse there is nothing, but all, a lot of the traps are cleaned off. There's no bait on them. See, there's like nothing. And with this one, I don't know if I need to change the bait or try to make the trigger a little more sensitive, but definitely going to have to change something here because obviously we're not going to be catching any mice if we keep on doing this. So I've already checked on the mouse traps and we got nothing today, which is super surprising. I thought for sure we were at least going to get some mice. But I forgot to mention this yesterday, we are going to be trapping the mice for about a week. Let's see how many we can get, I'm going to keep all of them in this bucket so I can show you guys later when we're done. So the first few days I'm going to be trapping in the greenhouses, then I'm going to move on out to the barns and start trapping there. So this is day one of trapping, no luck, hopefully we'll have something tomorrow. So it's day two of checking the mouse traps, and we finally got one. I already checked the rest of the traps that are empty. Oh, well, there we go. First mouse. So when I was checking them today, we had five more, about five more traps that had the bait gone off them. So I did some research on the best bait for mouse traps, and I seen a lot of people using um, Tootsie Rolls, because you're supposed to chew them up a little bit, and then they're, they get kind of hard. And the mouse, the mice, instead of like biting the peanut butter off, they have to, like, they have to pull the Tootsie Roll off because you know it's chewy. So that should work a lot better. I haven't got any Tootsie Rolls yet, but I'm definitely planning on doing that because I want to get some mice. So we finally got one. That's good, but not the numbers I'm looking for right now. Hopefully I can get some Tootsie Rolls on there either tomorrow or the next day, so I'll see you then. All right, it's day three of checking the mouse traps. So I've already checked all of them already. We got one. Second mouse back in here by a water heater. So I did put, um, what are these called? Tootsie Rolls on them. And so far they're working. I haven't had any traps with the uh, bait missing, so that's good. And we actually did get another one over here. It's way back here. Another mouse on the Tootsie Roll. 
It's the next day, day four of checking traps. I've already checked all of them and we only got one mouse today. Weird catch on him, but we got him. He must have climbed over the trap and got caught. So what I'm thinking of doing is pulling the traps today because we're not catching a whole lot and moving them into the barns and stuff because there's probably more mice in there. So we'll probably do that today. Hopefully we can get some more. And I will put some trail cameras around the traps too so we can see what's going on. Alright guys, so I went ahead and pulled all the mouse traps today. They're right there. So... Um, I'm going to be changing it back to peanut butter because I had three trail cameras out. Two of them didn't get any mice on them. The other one did get a mouse on it and it wasn't paying any attention to the Tootsie Rolls. When I was using the peanut butter I was getting a lot more traps being t messed with. So I'm going to be switching back to peanut butter. I, might, I think I'm going to put more peanut butter on the traps because I think the problem was there wasn't enough weight on the pan so... Um, it wasn't as sensitive, so when you put more bait on the pan, it goes down easier. So that's what I'm going to be doing this time. I'm hoping it's going to work, so I'm going to be putting three trail cameras up, and I also got this live mouse trap. It actually works pretty good. I've caught mice in it before. So, got a really good spot right here. Bunch of, like, I don't know what that is, insulation maybe, and then there's a good hole up in there. So I'm going to put some traps here in this little barn and also some in this cooler. There's a bunch of mice that live in here. So we're going to be putting some in here. Another cooler down there behind all those boxes we're going to be setting. And we also got one more barn to set some traps at. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when we're checking the traps. Alright, so it's day five of checking traps. I'm in the other barn I was talking to you guys about yesterday, but I didn't get anything else at the other at the other barn. Um, so we're over here now and we got a mouse. Oh my, right on top of the head. We got him, so still got my bait on there. Just have it right on this corner. Got him. See if we got anything else. Second mouse of the day. I had it right on the side of the wall. Another good catch on the head. Add them to the bucket. Alright, I'm up in the attic right now. Right, I'm right above where I just was. But there's a lot of mice in here. So over here, we did get one mouse in here. Another good catch on the head. So we only picked up one in here tonight, but Got some other stuff going on in here. So I just had my traps, a bunch of them down in these holes, and it, it must be living up under this, under these boards. But we did get some traps set off last night. Like this one right here. Uh, it's got blood on it. I think that's new. Yeah, I don't think that was there. Oh, there's blood all over. What the heck? What in the world? You guys, you guys see all that? Blood. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I don't see any dead mice anywhere. Picked up another mouse on day six. Pretty big one. Right on top of the head. Same spot as yesterday, too. Alright, I'm up in the attic again. Still day six. Got another mouse in this spot. Sweet, good catch. So, I have a trail camera over here, it's right there on those sticks looking down into one of those holes. So we haven't gotten anything there yet so I'm thinking I'm going to move it over here. We got one more night of trapping mice so I really want to try to get one on camera. One of the catches on camera I think that would be really cool. So I'm going to move it over there because that's a really good spot. Hopefully we get one tonight. Alright guys, so it's day 7, the last day of tra checking traps. So, we got two things today. Here's the first one. We got a mouse in this same spot again. And the best thing about it is the trail camera was right there the whole time. So it's going to be really cool to see what happened here. The mouse has moved all the way over here. It was right there. So it's going to be kind of weird. Hopefully we got it on camera. We'll see. 
Well, let's go to the second catch of the day. So the other trap is in here. I set it yesterday, so I wasn't really expecting a whole lot to happen. I didn't know if we were going to catch anything. But I was going to pull this trap up. And it's so dark out down here, you guys can't even see it. It's right there. And I didn't even know we had something in it, so I just pulled it up and it surprised me. And we got a shrew. First one we caught. Um, kind of surprised because... I'm kind of surprised we didn't catch more of these because they're all over. But we got a good catch on them. So that's good. Two catches for the day, not bad. So I can't remember if I said this or not before, so... Today we're going to go out with all the mice we caught and that shrew. We're going to go out to three different locations. I got three trail cameras. So we're going to put up three trail cameras and put each of the mice up in different locations. See what comes by and eat some of them. We're not going to let these things go to waste. We're going to feed them to some wild animals. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what we get. Alright, so before we go out and set the trail cameras up, let's check the one we got that caught the mouse. Alright. Oh, I just saw something right there. What was that? Oh, there's a mouse right there. Next one. Oh. Come on. No. He better, he better still be here. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Come on. This has got to be it. What? Nope. Okay, still set. Come on, get caught. This better be on camera. Man. No, we just missed it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, he's going crazy. Well, we got him, but... We didn't get it on camera like I was hoping. Darn. We just missed it. That's still pretty cool, I guess. I was really hoping we'd get the catch on camera, but that's alright. Man, what? Why is it flashing? There's a mouse, another mouse right there. It jumped. It looks... Because the dead mouse was over on just off camera right there, and this is another mouse that came and jumped onto it, it looks like. What in the world? <laughs> That's pretty funny. I don't know what this flashing is, though. Something wrong with my camera. And I'm guessing that is me. Yep. Got the first spot good, got the mice up off the ground, so we got good eye appeal going on. Animals will find them easily, hopefully. Got the trail camera right there. Looking good, off to the next spot. Second spot, trail camera. Three mice right there. You guys probably can't see it real well. Let's go to the last spot of the day. Put up the last trail camera. Alright, I just set the last spot up. I'm in my car right now because it's raining, but we got the three, no, there's four mice on this one. There's a trail camera right along the creek. Alright, so it's the very next day, and we had a big ice storm last night, so not a lot of animals, I'm guessing, came out. And there's ice over the mice right there. This is the spot by the creek, and my trail camera is frozen to the ground. Probably not going to be able to see anything on it, even if something took the mice. So, um, I already checked all the trail cameras. I mean, I already checked to see if the mice were gone, um, but the ones in the barn were gone. So, I'm going to pull all these up because they're just frozen solid. So, at least we got something at the barn way up there to check out. So, we'll go up there, we'll pull the trail camera, and I'll see you guys back at my house when we'll check it. Alright guys, I'm in the barn right now. We're about to check the trail camera footage right now. First video. Oh, there's a cat. That's probably what took him. He's still nibbling at it. He's not doing anything with it. He's kind of testing it out, see if it's okay to eat. Yeah, he might eat it. Oh yeah, it's all the way in his mouth now. Let's see, when does he swallow it? All the, the only thing that's hanging out is the tail right now. 
Oh, he swallowed it at the very end. Let's see if he goes for the second one here. Hopefully, I'm hoping the cat doesn't take all of them. I think he just took the other one off camera. Let's go. Let's see what. Let's see what he, yeah, he's gonna take all of them, isn't he? Yep, he's on the third one. Thing must be hungry. Let's see. I mean, we still got all these to check, so we might have something else on here, like a coon. Cause this thing should, this cat should be gone here soon. Yeah, he's eating all of them already. He's still there though. Now he's cleaning himself off. Let's see what we got here in the next one. Oh, there's a mouse. Man, maybe I should have set some mouse traps in there. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, we're definitely going to get some more stuff on here. Oh, what is that? Another cat. That looks like a different cat. It looks darker. We got a lot of tame. We got a lot of wild cats around here. You smell? I think that's the original cat. I'm pretty sure. There he goes. He left. He's probably going. There's a little hole down there. He's probably going in there. Yep. There he goes. I caught a coon right here. Um, in one of my other videos. So that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to subscribe for the next video coming up. Because in the next one, we are going to use rat traps and try to catch squirrels. It's going to be a pretty fun video, I think. Make sure to be there when it comes out, and I'll see you in the next one.